Hey guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Just wanted to do a little prepping video talking about um, how all these big cities, people are just fleeing them for the countryside or smaller towns. It's happening here to me currently. Um, I'm in su southern Ontario, Canada, and in Canada, um, our biggest city is Toronto, Ontario. Uh, massive millions of people live there, and it has turned into an absolute hellhole with this sickness that's been affecting us the last two years. Driving people insane, and driving them insane enough to flee the city, actually pick up and move, and get out. This is happening everywhere, from what I hear, in the U.S., here in Canada as well. Now, the problem with that is, there's not enough infrastructure to handle that. All these small cities have a set number of houses and a set number of apartments. So now there is a shortage and now people are building houses like crazy. However, hyperinflation has kicked in because of stupid government borrowing tons, trillions of dollars to help fight the sickness and basically bankrupting the country. They're going to bankrupt us into oblivion, guys, because just look at the price of lumber. Um, that's a direct result of the government borrowing a whack ton of money and also the government closing all, this, all the production down for everything. All done by the government. The virus didn't do this. The government did. Remember that always. This isn't a virus thing, this is a government problem that's affecting everybody. Not good. So, back to people fleeing the cities. Well, guess what? They're building houses here like an insane, like, basically they're building houses faster than they can handle. And they're making them so cheap because of the high prices of all the building materials, including lumber, that, I don't know, I wouldn't be paying half a million dollars for some of the crap I've seen them put up. And I don't have that anyway. Because <laughs> if I did, I'd be, uh, you know. But, uh, <laughs> not here, right? But um, anyways, this is getting insane, guys. And like, like in my previous uh, prepping video, I'm gonna suggest everybody isolate themselves from the system as much as possible. What do I mean by that? Becoming self-reliant, self-sustainable. Make your own power. Grow your own food. Take care of your own water and sewage. Whatever, I don't care how you do it, it's important that you start doing it and learning about it and doing it pronto. Because at this point, the government is just imploding the country and going to make it put everybody into poverty with this hyperinflation because they won't be able to afford anything. And it's insane, guys. This is what we're dealing with. This is the new reality. This is their new normal that they're talking about. Build back better. It's more like build back retarded and implode the country. Well, it fits for Bonehead, uh, the Bonehead administration because that's exactly what it is. Um, since he's got in, gasoline prices have never been higher here in Canada and I'm sure in the US. Taxes have never been higher here and as I'm sure in the US as well. And the government borrowing trillions of dollars to add hyperinflation to every product out there for purchase is just bonkers. And now they're saying, guys, this was just on the radio I listened to, now they're saying they don't know if the jabs are going to work and they don't know if this herd immunity thing is even possible. So guess what guys, if you got your jab, um, they don't even know what the hell they're doing running the country. Do you think they know what the hell they're doing in science? Probably not. So just putting that out there. <laughs>
It's insanity, guys. We're in a Twilight Zone movie, and it is very scary. But I'm going to tell you, you got to get to avoid this being scared and panicked and all this. Hit the prepping. Try to get self-sufficient as fast as possible. Get out of the cities, get a nice little country house, fix it up if possible. I know I just told you the building materials such as lumber is impossible pricing. You might have to buy a sawmill with some uh, forest on your property and just do everything yourself and that's perfect. That'd be the way to go. Or build one of the, or get one of those Amish sheds delivered. A lot of people are doing that. Turn it into a tiny house or a cabin, and that's perfect. Their, their, their cost has probably gone up, but it sure as hell is ready to go, and all you got to do is insulate and wire and finish finish the insides and throw some solar on and rain catchment and all that, and you're good. Throw a garden in. You're, it, it's all these things you can do, guys, to get, get by. Um, I know a lot of people have to do it in stages because they don't have the funds. And I, I'm to, I'm, <laughs> I'm living that <laughs> here at the off-grid tiny house. <laughs> I, I, that's a day-to-day -day thing. But I'm further along. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm getting further along here with the project. Now, my major run-in right now is the water situation. For whatever reason, I'm not catching any rainwater. Um, so I have major issues going on up above that I have to look at. And uh, I need an entire day to do that, and I don't have it yet. Because I'm either working or running out of town like I'm going to be doing shortly uh, for my mom's uh, cataract surgery. So, um, we're all good for solar. Uh, we're sitting at 13.53 uh, volts, 28.24 amps coming in because I've got the rice cooker and box fan going. So I got some high load equipment running. And uh, everything's good. It's uh, nice in here. I love it. Uh, it's supposed to be warming up later this week, so I may be able to run the air conditioning. Not that I need it, as not that it's pretty comfortable still. So, so guys, prep, prep, prep. Think about what I said in this video. Maybe rewatch it, share it to your buddies. This is. We have insane people in office that are basically imploding the country and what are you going to do about it? You're going to isolate yourself from non the nonsense, right? So get self-sufficient, try to become a prepper, get the hell off the grid, and do your do your thing. If you can't do it, you can't do it. And uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see you in the next slide. <laughs> but uh, other than that, we'll see you guys on the next one.